name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're in Romania, here at a shop of one of our past customers, and he is grinding uh, boards and electronics and removing the precious metals and the base metals. And today we want to give you a tour of his facility and show you some of the stuff that he's been doing. We're going to walk through the whole process and uh, show you how he's extracting the, the metals from the boards using a Mount Baker Mining and Metals uh, processing unit. I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the shop here. This customer is running electronic frames that come from various electronic sources. He buys them by the container load, so he gets about 20 to 30 tons a month of this material. And he takes this stuff, it's all depopulated, it's just fiberglass and copper, and he runs it through a Mount Baker Mining and Metals PCB processing system. This is one of our 24 by 60 inch hammer mills. The gooseneck up top is where the feed material goes in. Water is introduced and goes down into the hammer mill. It has a screen in the bottom that has a two millimeter wide by two centimeter long slot in it that we'll take a look at a little later. The material then discharges down into a splitter that separates it onto two Mount Baker mining and metal shaker tables. This is where the material gets discharged into the splitter. It comes down onto the two Mount Baker mining and metal shaker tables. And they're set exactly the same. The material that comes off into the number four is plastic and fiberglass. Our customer has reported that he gets 99.9% .9 of the metals out of the waste. So everything that comes off into the number four is plastic and fiberglass. There's very little metal left. The rest of the material goes across the shaker table into the number one, number two, or number three port. The number one and the number two are very high grade copper, and the number one is where all the precious metals report to. And the number three is a mix of plastic and copper, with probably about 50% copper by weight. So this is the concentration side of one of the shaker tables. And so he gets a number one and a number two product here. The number threes come down into this tub, which is a mix of plastic and copper, and the number four goes down into a holding bin on the floor, and the water gets recycled. So here's one of the modified screens that our customer is using, and it's a plascut slot. It's pierced here and comes over about two centimeters, and the width of the cut is about a two millimeter width, and so that allows the board to get ground up and liberate the copper and keep the throughput high, but also fully liberating the fiberglass and the metal to go through and onto the shaker tape. Okay, here's a sample of the waste that I wanted to show you guys. And this is the stuff that's the number four off the shaker table. This material is the waste from the shaker table. And this is the stuff that has very little metal left over in it. Our customer reports 99% uh, of the metal gets recovered on the shaker table. So this is the waste from the, from the process. And right now he is currently looking for uh, something to use this material for, some way to recycle it. So the whole process is a closed loop system and there's no waste created. It's all recycled and reused to make new products. Okay, here's the product that comes off the shaker table. And as you can see, this is pretty much pure copper. There's a little bit of material that hasn't been fully liberated from the fiberglass. But this is a perfectly good saleable product. This is a, a mix of his number one and number twos. And what he does is he takes his number one and number two high grade off the shaker table and upgrades it further and gets a product that's about 30% gold that he can sell directly to a precious metal refiner and then the copper product goes right to the copper smelter, and so he gets a very high percentage of his precious metals and a very high percentage of the value of his copper. Okay, this is a little experiment we're gonna do. We've taken the high-grade material off the shaker table, and we've screened it down to 80 mesh minus. And most of the precious metals is in the small material, that's why we screened it, and to allow the material to be all the same size, so it will separate by density better on the shaker table. We're going to take the small amount of material and we're going to run it on one of our 4x8 shaker tables to try and clean it up a little bit more and get a higher grade gold product. Ok, 
Okay, so it might be hard to see in this light, but this is a, a little band of gold right at the head of this sandbar. And the little gold line follows all the way up the shaker table. And our customer can come along and suck this up with the little snuffer bottle. And we ran it through his XRF analyzer, and it came out to 40% gold. Yeah, yeah. We've done this a lot. Ten carats. Ten carats. So thanks for watching our first part of our Euro trip, 2017. And uh, next stop is Prague, where we're going to look at some uh, electronics recycling, where he's doing small motors and things like that through one of our hammer mills. And uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.